Someone shot and killed two people last night south of Indianapolis in Fountain Square. We've since learned that a third person wounded was pregnant, but she survived. Rich Nive joins us from that neighborhood now where friends are putting together a vigil in the next half hour, and he's uncovered a lot more about the moments before the shooting. Rich? Yeah, John and Ann Marie, a dispute over a dog's death on Thursday escalated Sunday into a triple shooting that left two men dead and a pregnant woman injured. She had to deliver her baby girl early last night at Eskenazi Hospital. Now, the dog's name was Petey, and the neighbor shot and killed the dog on Thursday night, according to neighbors. Bill Koenig was apparently out of town when this happened, but he confronted his neighbor on Sunday night, allegedly with a gun. Raul Galan lives across the street. He did not want us to show his face, but he told us what happened. They had a confrontation. He laid his gun down. He said, well, we'll take care of it. We can fist fight. And then when he turned his back t to leave, he shot him in the back twice. And then he shot his cousin. Then he shot his girlfriend, his pregnant girlfriend. It's a close connection here. And knowing that I'm not going to be able to say, hi, neighbor, uh, how you doing? You know, be safe when you're out or be glad when he comes home. It's hard. Friends of 32-year-old Bill Koenig posted tributes on Facebook today. His cousin, 21-year-old Eric Hoffman, was also shot and killed. Bill's girlfriend, 24-year-old Jessica Smith, survived her gunshot wound and gave birth to a baby girl at Eskenazi Hospital. Back here live, you can see that friends and family have gathered. There will be a candlelight vigil that starts at 6.30 tonight. Two men have been arrested in connection with this shooting. 22-year-old Colleen Lamont England is the next-door neighbor, and 24-year-old Marcus England also arrested here at the scene. Again, candlelight vigil begins here at 6.30 as friends and family mourn the loss of these two men. John and Anne-Marie.